Hello everyone and welcome to this video about changing the hard disk or upgrading the hard disk in a Lenovo IdeaPad L340 or a Lenovo L340-17IWL or model name 81M0. So first thing is put the laptop face down on the desk and remove all the screws There should be, I think, 13 screws. So that's four of them along the front of the machine. one on the left side of the machine the one then in is for the CD drive so once you've taken that out you can slide out the CD drive or the CD drive placeholder and incidentally all of these screws are the same length so it doesn't matter whether you accidentally mix them up uh, when you get into the machine those screws are a different length but all the ones which are on the underside of the machine are the same length. Once you've taken all the screws out from underneath the machine, you need to find a thin spudger uh, or, if you can't get hold of one of those, a credit card type bit of plastic and then I'd rub it on the carpet or on the ground to give it a, a thinner edge, basically, so that it can fit between the uh, top cover and bottom cover of the machine. Using a screwdriver will absolutely damage the computer so don't just use a screwdriver or something um, it will cause gouge marks in the plastic so as I say a, a credit with this thing that I'm using is basically a credit card uh, that I've rubbed against the carpet on both sides on one corner to taper the edge which will then fit between the uh, palm rest and the underside of the machine. Basically run that along undoing the clips between the top side and uh, or the palm rest and the underside of the machine. So that's all of the ones around the front done and then go around the corner and work your way along undoing all the clips. get slightly more tricky where you get to the CD drive and flip the machine around and do the other side then close the lid or close the machine so that the underside is facing you and then hinge it up from the front going towards 
the back and it should just unclip at the back as well. And at that point you've got the underside of the machine off which exposes the RAM and in this instance on this machine there's an entirely free RAM slot so you could upgrade that. To undo the hard disk there are four screws very small screws, those ones are different and they are also different to the one that the hard disk bracket uses so these four screws make sure you keep separate from uh, the case screws and also the screws that you will be undoing from the side of the hard disk once you've lifted it out. So undo all the four screws around the hard disk and then gently hinge and pull the hard disk out towards the edge of the machine. Then there are four screws on the hard disk bracket, so undo those. Uh, incidentally, there's also an M2 SATA or NGFF on this motherboard as well. Uh, drop your new hard disk or SSD into place and screw it back into the bracket. And then the way you took it out, gently angle it and slide it back into the connector and push the drive down into where it sits and then put back in the four screws around the edge of the hard disk. So that's the new SSD or hard disk put in. Get the top, or sorry, the underside cover and place it back onto into place and push it down across all of the edges. Well, once uh, you squished it down, especially where the CD drive goes in, which has a different type of clip, so make sure those are all done up and once you've been around the entirety of the machine with it closed open the machine up and just go around the edge making sure it's clipped down fully Now it's just a case of screwing all of the screws back into the underside.
Uh, remember to put the CD drive placeholder, or if you have a CD drive, the actual CD drive, back into the slot before you put that screw in. Otherwise, you will uh, find that you, when you go to put the placeholder or drive in, it will hit the screw and it won't go any, any further. And you'll need to undo that screw before you'll then be able to put the drive back in. That's the final four screws along the front of the machine. And we're done. So if you flip the machine over, turn it on, your SSD or new hard disk should be detected. So I have to use the little hole on the side to get into BIOS on these machines using a paper clip and select BIOS and you should see that we now have a Samsung SSD. Hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be super helpful to me if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notification bell switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.